Hello, everybody. This is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday uh, afternoon. Beautiful Sunday afternoon in the fall. Fall is my absolutely favorite time of the year. I do have a haul for you. It's a fall haul, but uh, this is actually a haul from the thrift store and uh, the flea market. What's the flea market? No, the antique store. Um, and so I... I think you'll be excited about it. I really do. I'm going to start with mostly all of this, I believe, is from the Goodwill and 2nd Avenue. Yeah, the Goodwill and 2nd Avenue. I really don't remember where everything came from, but if I do, I'll try to let you know. But I think, well, just know that they both came from uh, the Goodwill and 2nd Avenue thrift store. So let me just go ahead and get started right away. The first thing I think is this lovely, lovely piece. I, I was hoping it was a set. I totally dig this beautiful turquoise color. It's mid-century modern. I believe it's just a sugar bowl. It is an excellent, excellent condition, as you can see. Um, I love, love, love this pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, here's the bottom. And I looked this up on um, eBay, and I saw something similar. They're just calling it... Um, um, stoneware pottery or something like that or whatever, but there was a teapot, a tall teapot and some um, mugs that had the same pattern on it, but there's no maker's mark on it at all. But isn't this beautiful in pristine condition? That's just some tape. In pristine condition, I totally wish there was a set. So I think I'm still going to sell it because even if you don't use it as a... Um, a sugar dish, you can certainly use it just as a trinket dish or just to put it in your home decor. Isn't that totally mid-century modern decor? Isn't that awesome? Totally love that. The next item I'm going to show you is a set of candles. I don't try to buy a lot of candles, but I like candles, as you can see. I, I like candles in my home almost like every single day. Um, but this is actually was kind of interesting, and they do sell really well. These were only $1.99. They say handmade rainbow dinner candles from the Holy Land. They're made in Israel. That's the back, as you can see. But I just thought they were so cool. In its original package, never been opened, as you can tell. And uh, they sell pretty well. I want to say between 10 and 12 bucks. So I figured for this beautiful rainbow color uh, candles, um, I thought that was pretty cool. So I didn't want to leave those behind. The next thing I want to find is another piece of Judaica, which I totally love Judaica pieces. I just love uh, Judaic pieces. I just do. I have a few of them, and they do really sell. They sell for me. So this, I believe, is a, um, I think I Google lens this, and it's a, um, a napkin holder, I believe. If I find a picture of it, I'll put it up there so you guys can see what it's exactly called. But it has these beautiful, um, oh my God, I'm losing my train of thought here lions and uh anyway it's just beautiful it's made out of this solid kind of metal uh metal material isn't that awesome totally love it and it has a little tag on the inside i'm not sure exactly what that means but nonetheless i did pick that up the next item i wanted to show you are uh, actually i found two of them so let me just show you both of them right these beautiful resin um abalone shell trivets this one um, says Trivet Hot Plate, and it's by Hyler Enterprises. I'm pretty sure this is mid-century modern. This one is a little dirty. Got to clean it up a little bit. But this one is probably about, if I had to guess, probably eight and a half inches round, which I thought was pretty cool. And this one is just an oval shape, but I noticed, I didn't notice it when I was in the store. This one actually has a crack on it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there is a crack. You can barely see it. And on top of that, it has a chip right there. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is selling them together and um, noting that this one um, has some damage on it. But I think, you know, if you, if you set them up, you probably won't be able to tell. And once they're nice and bright and shiny, I'll clean them up a little bit. You probably can still display them in your home well and use them as trivets or just home decor. So aren't they beautiful? Love, love, love. I think I paid like $1.99 each for these. So what did I pay for the set? I don't remember. Anyway, let me put that there. All right, the next item I'm going to show you, this was only 99 cents. And at first I wasn't going to pick it up because I thought it was kind of sort of, you know, too scratchy. But then upon further inspection, it looked completely fine. I sold a tray like this uh, maybe about a week or so ago, maybe about two weeks ago. And it was it was 
it wasn't it wasn't totally scratched up but it definitely did have some scratches and this one is in fairly decent shape that right there that you see is just some tape i wanted to be careful and clean that up before but this was only 99 cents and on the back of it it does say a uh, japan but who doesn't love mushrooms and who doesn't love these colorful beautiful mushrooms with this beautiful butterfly right here so of course I was going to pick that up for 99 cents. It's very light, lightweight. I can probably bubble this up, you know, bubble package this up with some paper and bubble wrap and put it in a bubbler and uh, and put some, I usually put some cardboard around it, but I can probably get this in a, um, a bubble pack and it'll arrive safely to its destination. So I thought that was pretty cool for only 99 cents. The next item I'm going to show you is a vintage girly, G-U-R-L-E-Y candle. Let me just show you the bottom. And you're gonna you're gonna love this. Look at this, this beautiful girly G U R L E Y candle of this pumpkin, this dapper pumpkin, right? And I think I paid a dollar ninety nine cents for this. It may have been even half off because they were starting to knock some of their. Um, I'm pretty sure this was half off. But nonetheless, this in good shape, never been used, no chips, no significant chips or cracks on it. And uh, this little baby does really well for about $20. So I thought that was really super cool to uh, to get this. There's the candles wick right there. But isn't he awesome? In great, great condition. Go back, little buddy. All right, the next set I'm going to show you is a set of, these are Libby glasses. I have a set of, how many of these do I have? I have a set of five of these. These Libby Santa Claus, Santa Claus uh, tall glasses. They are in great, great condition. And one of them, it actually, it was sold as, as a set of six for, I don't know, like six bucks. One of them was definitely very chipped and I couldn't sell that one. But um, am I thinking about the George Briard one, which I'm going to show you anyway? These are Libby, and uh, these are really do well for the holiday season. So these are definitely vintage, and I will get those babies listed hopefully in the next week. That's that. Now the George Briard, I got to show you these. Look at these. These are George Briard. If you guys know me, you know I love George Briard. I pick up anything that's George Briard, whether it's his trivets or glasses or um, he does a lot of home decor pieces, but mostly glasses, which I have a few in my in my store um but isn't aren't these adorable these beautiful george br these are kind of so like highball glasses and they're really really super heavy but i'll just take my time and show the george br name so in case you you're looking in case you come across this and you look for that you should probably pick them up because they do sell really well i think these i have five five of these um i'm going to call them high cocktail high boy glasses i guess that's what they're called but i totally love those and i have a set of five or six of those as well all right let's see what i want to show you next the next item i'm going to show you is anna lee guys i love anna lee this will fall right in line with um the upcoming thanksgiving holiday look at that <laughs> it is an anna lee turkey and it has this original anna lee tag here's the back I love Anna Lee. I love her, her, uh, her pieces, and these are no exception. <laughs> these have, um, what do you call it? You can, you can always tell the Anna Lee because of the the painting and so forth, and the stitching is so high quality. This was originally twenty five dollars, so but I'm definitely going to get this one listed fairly soon. So if you love Anna Lee, be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> I'm gonna save that for last. The next item, I'm gonna show you them one by one. So this is by a company called Wolfsum, W-O-L-F-U-M. I'm gonna show you the, the name on the bottom so you can see it. I paid $2.99 for each. So this beautiful, these are bookends. So these are quality bookends and they do really well. They sell really, really well. So here is a giraffe. Here's the side, Very, you can tell very quality wood. And I got the giraffe, but also I got this very, very, very colorful elephant. Perfect for uh, your your retro, ventro, bohemian home decor. I was gonna say uh, child's room or nursery, but you can use it in any, any decor, actually. I'm thinking boho decor. If you love books and you have a kind of sort of boho vibe in your home, you can probably use these together. Just show you these together. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> That's awesome. I love those. And again, they were only $2.99 a piece. So 
these will do really, really well. I think I saw, I don't know if I saw sold, maybe I did, but they were in the $30 range for one. So um, I thought that was pretty good. I, I can't remember if that was sold or just listed, but they should do pretty well. They make great, they'll make a great, get, get together now. They'll make a great Christmas gift. And uh, certainly as part of um, someone who has a vintage home decor, boho home decor. All right, the next, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, guys. I really didn't. I woke up several times last night and uh, went to church today and didn't get a lot of, didn't get a lot of sleep. So, and I told my husband, I'm going to go ahead and do this video because next week is going to be crazy with work stuff. And I probably won't have a lot of time to do any videos next week, probably for the next two weeks, um, because I'm going to St. Louis. But anyway, here's uh, the next item I'm going to show you is this cute little mug. And the name of the company, I think it's called uh, Studio G Ghibli. Let me just show you the box that it came in. I was so fooled because when I saw these two on the side, I said, oh, it must be two in there. But it was only the one. But anyway, cute nonetheless. So for all of my cat lovers, isn't this this black and white uh kitten or cat mug is so cute it's in great great condition just some little fuzz down in there as you can see um and it's by i guess kiki's 1989 kiki's licensed by studio gabil you guys see that there is a very very minor tip uh chip on the bottom you, you won't be able to see that but nonetheless just duly noted and i'll note that in the listing but the mug itself has no chips or Craps, cracks around the rim or the handle, so it's in relatively good good condition. So I wanted to grab that. How much did I pay for this baby? Three ninety nine. That was a lot. Um, but nonetheless, I'm pretty sure I can get it. You know, I can get uh, a profit from that. All right, so I'm going to show you those two last. All right, the next item I do know that these came from Second Avenue. Yeah, Second Avenue, and I'm going to show you the the lot of them. So I have six of these and these are thomas kincaid ornaments right and thomas kincaid depending on the subject can sell really really well and these are no exception for a set of three of these they are selling selling on ebay for about 40 bucks i paid 3.99 for those right for a set of three so i'm just going to show you one of them isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous they're calling it i'll tell you what they're calling this one it is a 2003 Bradford Exchange, Thomas Kincaid, and this particular design is called, I know I saw it, give me one moment, um, Shoreline Splendor. Aren't these gorgeous? That's a buzz. Aren't they gorgeous? So if you, if you decorate in a... Um, a beach or ocean theme, you can certainly use these, uh, certainly have these as your ornaments which I think these are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. They are different colors. So this one is kind of sort of like a light blue. Um, I'm not going to pull all of them out, but actually all of these are light blue. The other set that I have, I think they're more, I want to say they have a little bit of green in them. But anyway, it's a set of three of these and I'll sell them as a set of three. I won't sell them in uh, the entire set of six, if, if, if that makes sense. I know I'm not making any sense today. But um, but I just thought these were gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And I got all of these for $3.99. The other Thomas Kincaid set I got are these beautifuls. And these are called, um, they're 2001. And these are called Lamp Light Lane. These beautiful porcelain. Now, I'm not really sure exactly what this hole is for on the side. I, I have to look them up and see. But nonetheless, I have six of these that came in a set of three. I'll definitely break that up. But nonetheless, I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. Thomas Kincaid. You got to love him. The painter of light. Isn't that what they called him? The painter of light. So I thought those were lovely. So that's uh, like a um, cinnamon color. And then look at the green one. The green one is actually my favorite. Isn't that pretty? And like I said, I have no idea what, maybe what the hole is for. I have no idea. I was trying to look in it to see. <laughs> maybe there was a surprise. But, um, yeah. Don't know. But I did think those were gorgeous. 
All right, so the last thing I want to show you, so that's that. And then I'm going to put the video on pause. I'm going to show you all the items I got from the um, from the antique mall. So I don't know if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago. Is that everything? Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys this, right? So I found another one recently. The The one that I just recently sold, it had some damage. Um, the the eyes, which you'll see in a minute, the eyes, both of the eyes didn't light up. Only one eye lit up. The mouth barely moved. And um, I think that was it. I think these went up and down, but I sold it as is. I sold it as is. I think I sold it for like maybe $28. This one works awesomely right i put some batteries in it because i want to show you guys this piece it is absolutely and it may be a little bit too late for you to put in your um halloween home decor but i'm definitely going to get this listed this week and you can hold on to it for for next year but hold on one sec you guys are going to love this hold on one second <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So this one is in excellent condition. So I keep hitting this thing. This thing is in excellent condition. The lights work. The owls go up and down. And uh, is there lights on him too? Let me see. Hold on a second. On the pumpkin. Hold on a second. Yep. Yep. I won't play it again. But anyway, this one... You know, no smell. The other one didn't either, but uh, no smells or anything at all. This one is an excellent, excellent condition. I think it is so much fun. And um, so I'm definitely going to get this one listed. I can definitely charge a little bit more because um, because this one is fully working. The one I had before, only one of the eyes worked. I'm pretty sure the lights on the pumpkin did not work. Uh, the uh, the owls went up and down. So it was, you know, it, it wasn't perfect. But this one, all of the components seemed to work. And um, what I'll probably end up doing is definitely letting it play i'm going to put a video on letting it play a couple of times so people know that it definitely does work and it takes uh how many batteries i think it takes three double a batteries or something so anyway i thought that was super duper cool the next animated piece i got um i wasn't going to get this because you know I've, i have so much but it was so cute and it was it was rudolph now the only thing i can i have it i have some batteries in this one too the only thing that i cannot tell is whether or not Rudolph's nose lights up. If it's supposed to light up, I'm not really sure. This one takes four AA batteries and you activate it by his lovely, lovely ear here. So just one moment. So I won't let that play all the way, but he says different things. Hold on a second. My name is Rudolph. Hi. Rudolph the Red Nose Sorry. Rudolph, aren't you going to laugh at my nose too? <laughs> so he definitely does say a, a couple of different things. Um, this definitely looks like the Santa that's in the uh, the movie. And, you know, there's some toys on the back of it in his sack. And it's Rudolph. So what I'm not sure of is if his light, his, if his nose is supposed to light up. I'm going to probably do a little bit more research. I believe this is a Gimme product, G-E-M-M-Y. I'm pretty sure that it is. But um, it's an overall great condition. It is. Here's my tag. It is Gimme. Yep. 19. I think this was 1991. 1992. So anyway, I don't know. So I'm going to do a little bit more research and I figure I will go ahead and get this listed. I didn't pay a lot for it, so it'll probably be listed on my site for a good price. And, um, and I think that's it. I think that is my Goodwill Second Avenue haul. I believe that is it. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you guys would just hold on for a moment, I'm going to put my video on pause. And then what I'm going to do is um, 
I'm going to show you the items that I got from the flea market, some amazing items from the, it's not the flea market, the antique mall. And um, and then we'll go from there. So stand by, please. All right, everybody, Thank I'm you. back. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, so I actually have, this next haul actually comes from, I keep calling it an antique mall, but it's really not an antique mall. It's more of a vintage um they sell, an, they sell an array of items. So they sell some modern stuff, they sell some vintage stuff, and they sell some some antique stuff. Like, it's all over the place. But there are, there are probably about maybe 60 or 65 vendors that are in this little small um, store. But I do like them. Now, um, their prices are absolutely at retail. Um, not in my price range where I can pretty much get stuff to resell. But if you take your time and look, there are some items that you may pay up for, but there's still some wiggle room in the uh, items to sell them. These items that I'm about to show you, I, I can tell you for a fact that I paid up a little bit for them. Um, but for the most part, I'm a, I am fairly confident that I'll be able to make a profit on these items. And one item in particular, I'm just blown away by what I pay for it and what the souls are going for on eBay. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I think you'll like uh, this particular haul. So um, I love Yadro. Unfortunately, when I find Yadro, it's either chipped or it's just two things. It's either chipped or it is just way out of my price range that I could afford to buy for resale. But this little Yadro piece is absolutely gorgeous. And I paid next to nothing for this. I'm so excited. The vendor, I think, had a bunch. And I think they just wanted to get rid of it. As you can see, the Yadra label on the bottom. And this one is called, I think it's called the Thinking Angel. It is absolutely in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. And I'll probably be able to double what I paid for this particular piece. Sorry, it's not focusing. But it is absolutely a Yadra piece. And I absolutely love it. So I had to show you that first. The next site I want to show you, I am, again, like I mentioned before, I love, 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 George Briard. Where is it here? It's on the back for sure. So I have I, I have picked up a bunch of George Briard pieces, but I've never seen this stamped on the bottom of it. This is just a, I'm going to call it a serving tray. There's a George Briard. Here's the front, and it says George Briard right in there, as you can see. I have never seen um, this label on the back of any of his pieces. Normally his name is engraved on his glasses or his home decor pieces, but this one is just a serving tray. I believe this is absolutely mid-century modern, as you can tell, and uh, it's in great condition. Very little scratches or scrapes, as you can see. Here's the feet, but I absolutely, excuse me, absolutely love it. You gotta love George, George Briard. Hold on one second, guys. I'm so thirsty. Like I said, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Whew, I feel like my words are fumbling. I think it would have probably take me a good old afternoon Sunday nap. I really do. All right, so I'll show you those last. The next item is Roseville. And I paid up a little bit for this one, but I could not leave it. It's gorgeous. Hello. Very few uh, pieces that I find in Roseville are in this good condition, and this is no exception. This Roseville piece, I think they call it a ewer or pitcher, I guess, but it is, I think this is called um, cattails or something like that. I think it's called, the pattern is called silhouette, but I think these are, the, these are cattails, I think, but I'm going to see if I can find a, a picture so it's that I'm naming it properly, but isn't that gorgeous? The dogs are barking. Somebody must be walking their dog. But isn't this gorgeous? Let me just show you the bottom. This is Roseville USA 717-10. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I was not going to leave this one behind. And I got a good deal on that one too. All right, so this next item, I got to show you it's in two pieces. And I'm trying my best to be very careful. So it came... What I'm about to show you was inside this little dish, right? And I, I, I had never seen a Fenton piece with in a dish like this or a holder. But then I looked on the bottom upon further inspection. I looked on the bottom and the Fenton uh, is embossed on the bottom. So that made sense. But I had never seen it come with this kind of base. But so I'm going to put this carefully down. And then I'm going to show you this beautiful 
Stunning Fenton Bowl. Take it in. Isn't that absolutely, absolutely stunningly? I paid up for it, but the soles on these baby will, will do really, really well. That's all I have to say. They'll do really, really well. Fenton is pretty, pretty collectible, and I'm pretty sure this is no exception. This will absolutely sell. I love this beautiful green, this kind of sort of, I'm going to call it light, delicate, uh, green, iridescent. And it is signed on the bottom. Let me just show you. I believe it is 2002. It's the museum collection. On the bottom, it, it is signed by George Fenton and then hand painted by, I think it's Nieder or Neister. Hold on a second. Oh my God. I thought I saw a chip. Okay, it's not. <laughs> All right, so you have to be careful. So anyway, on the bottom, it says George by George Fenton and then hand-painted by this person's name. And it's a 2002 museum collection. So, and it was hidden. It was in a spot in the store that you wouldn't even, they had it on a, it was on a, like a cocktail table on the bottom. And I'm not sure exactly why it was there. It should have been someplace up where people could see it. But I'm like walking by, I'm taking my time and I'm looking all around and something out of the corner of my eye made me turn it because I saw the, it was like, you know, it was iridescing, you know, and it was calling me. So I said, oh my goodness, that looks like Fenton. And sure enough, when I went over there, I saw that it was Fenton and I was like, oh my goodness. So Anyway, I'm really happy about this piece. I'm happy that I picked it up. I know that I paid up for it, but I am a thousand percent confident. And like I said, it came with this little base. I had never seen a Fenton bowl or or any type of Fenton uh, pieces that had this base. So uh, nonetheless, um, I thought this was stunningly, stunningly beautiful, guys. Isn't it gorgeous? So, you know, always with Fenton, I, I, I am tending, I'm picking them up now. Um, because they're selling there. I have two pieces that are in my, um, one piece sold last week, another piece just sold just the other day. Um, so I'm picking them up because they're selling. You pay up a little bit, but, um, because I think they're collectible, I know that people are, people want to put them in their collection. All right, so these next four items are the same. So I'm going to tell you about this. If you guys know anything about Mark Roberts, you know that Mark Roberts is, he does these beautiful kind of sort of fairies. I think mostly Christmas, um, mostly Christmas, I believe. I'm not really sure, but I, I can spot a Mark Roberts piece right off the bat. So in this particular store, um, the vendor had, I don't know, guys, they had about at least 40, maybe 30 or 40 uh, Mark Roberts uh, fairies. So uh, the owner of the shop said that someone had just come in right before I got there. And she bought like six of them. I got four of them, right? I wanted to buy all of them, but I had to slow my roll. I had to not get them all. Um, but they were at great prices and I just, I could not not leave them behind. I sold a Mark Roberts um, pine cone angel, I want to say a couple of months ago, um, for a good profit. So I don't think these are going to be any exceptions. So I'm going to show these to you one by one. Here are the Mark Roberts boxes. I got the original boxes. This one that I'm going to show you is called the Bling Bling Fairy, right? And this one is absolutely, absolutely bling bling. So I got to show you these one by one, guys, because you're going to go ooh and ah, because these are amazing pieces. So if you love Mark Roberts, I'm just giving you an alert because these are stunningly beautiful. These are not the big, big ones. These probably measure, guys, probably about 10 to 11 inches tall. So they're not the big one. Mark Roberts, uh, uh, these fairies come, they, you can get them huge, right? But these are probably like 10 or 12 inches if I had to guess right now. Um, but anyway, this is the Bling Bling Fairy. The Mark Roberts original tag. It always comes with the Mark Roberts label on them. So look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fairy. Oh my God, in all of his glory. Now, if this isn't bling bling, I don't know what, what bling bling is. Whatever your definition of bling bling, this has got to be somewhere in that realm. Isn't this amazing? And most of these come with the Mark Roberts uh, certificate of authenticity. And I believe these were out of Santa Ana. You have Santa Ana, California. Yep, 2010. He's the bling bling one. Just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. 
So that is one. All right, the next one. And again, all these came in the original box. This one is called, I think this was called the Ornament Fairy. All right. Oh, this is a Nordstrom label. These were originally from Nordstrom's. Okay, there we go. All right, so this one is called the Ornament Fairy. And his, look, his wings are still in its package. So, you know, these are absolutely brand new. And again, that's the Mark Roberts label right there. That's how you know. And this the tag. But look at this little darling angel. I'm not going to bend these. But he is gorgeous, too. He has ornaments. Where's his ornaments? I guess. I don't know why. Oh, probably because what's in his head. I don't know. But he is called the Ornament Fairy, I guess. 2010. Okay. Oh, not, you would think that he would have his whole, maybe some gloves on or something. Anyway, I'm talking to myself. All right, so that's the ornament fairy. Go back there, little fella. The next one is, this one is called Christmas Shopping Fairy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So here, <laughs> this is cool. Look at his eyes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So you would think he would have like a bag or something. I don't know. Anyway. He's the shopping fairy. So you can tell Mark Roberts, you know, they're highly, highly qu good quality fairies and resin. And just their clothing alone is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I think I remember watching someone's YouTube video, I don't know, a year or so ago, and they were they were Mark Roberts collectors, and I think they shared that Mark Roberts, these fairies used to go for hundreds. They used to they used to sell really well. But the market on them has come down quite a bit, which is fine. But I do know that they are still collectible. And I'll be putting these on my shop, obviously for the Christmas season. I'm probably gonna get these babies listed this week sometime coming up. And the last one is called the Peace Fairy. This one should probably be my favorite if he's the Peace Fairy. Oh my goodness. I didn't look at all these thoroughly. I just kind of sort of got them. But anyway, yeah, this one is actually, I think, going to be my favorite. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just quality, quality, quality personified. Look at that. All of these. I love, love, love. So yes, I absolutely did scoop all of them up. And uh, I'm going to try to go back. Um, will I have time to go this weekend coming? I may not have time to go this weekend coming because I got to get ready for my trip to St. Louis. But um, I may go back when I come back from St. Louis and see if this vendor has put out some other stuff too, because I think they must have, they must have either been, a, they, they must have been a collector because she had a whole three full shelves of Mark Roberts, um, these fairies. And so some of them were big, some of them were this size. Um, I could have bought them all, but I had to, I had to slow my roll, but, um, I think I'll, I think these will do absolutely well I, because I think that they are perfect for the upcoming uh, holiday season and people who are Mark Roberts collectors are always looking for these very unique, uh, unique fairies. So anyway, that's everything. Of course, you know, this one is this one right here is my favorite. That's my favorite. You know, that is absolutely my favorite. The Yajo is my favorite. And of course, the Roseville is my favorite. So yeah, this little shop, like I said, they are great. They have some great, great vendors there. And I love going there. You really do have to just take your time as, you know, I was listening to George the Antique Nomad. You know, I love him. I was listening to him just yesterday. As a matter of fact, this may have been an old video because I have a tendency to watch his videos over and over again because you learn something new every single time. And he was just talking about that you can find prices in antique stores, you know, these vintage and antique stores. You can find items that is, but you just really have to take your time and look, right? Will you pay up? Yes, you will absolutely pay up. You won't pay a Goodwill and, you know, Second Avenue thrift store prices. You will not. However, um, 
if you if you hunt and peck, there's still some items in there worth getting that you can still make a profit make a profit from um, make a profit as a reseller. All right, guys. So that's it. I think I'm going to shut it down because I am tired. I really I really did not get a lot of sleep last night, and then I got up early this morning to go to church and um and this is going to be one of those days where i think i'm going to now that this video is done i probably won't process it until tomorrow i really do think i'm just going to take me a nice afternoon nap and my husband is watching a football game which is great and uh, i don't have to cook dinner because we already have food in the house so i think i'm good i think i'm really going to be just let this be a chill out day to day and uh and just relax so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by my channel i really totally appreciate it if there's anything that you guys see before i get these things listed please do let me know drop me an email my email information is at the bottom here and my etsy shop will be there again my most of these items that i just showed you today guys i probably won't have these things listed until sometime late this week um just because of work stuff i probably won't be able to get them photographed and get them listed until later this week However, if there's anything that you like, just shoot me an email and we can work it out. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. You have a wonderful Sunday afternoon, whatever you choose to do on Sunday. Have a wonderful uh, Sunday afternoon. I hope you have an amazing week next week. See you later. Smooches.